Oh, this is interesting. George in Albert Lee, Minnesota. You are fond Hi. of Ayn Rand's Thanks. ideas? Well, um, what I was t- calling about is um, the tactic of trying to discredit somebody's ideas by attacking the person. That's called ad hominem. You oh, yeah. and your caller okay. spent an awful lot of time talking about what a horrible person Ayn Rand was uh, that has nothing to do with her ideas. Well, hang on just uh, a person's hang- ideas, A person's ideas stand separate from the person that propounds them. If you want to call yourself uh, an intellectual program and tell your uh, callers uh, how smart they are, you got to get off the uh, ad hominem attacks and talk about ideas. Okay, so one of Ayn Rand's ideas was that Edward Hickman, the, the, the fellow who murdered this 12-year-old girl, was superior to the rest of us because he stood above society's law. She wrote that. That's not attacking her. That's attacking her idea. One of the things that she said is that people who believe in God or any other kind of religion... I beg your pardon? discredits every idea she's ever had? No, I'm not even saying it discredits any of her ideas. I'm just saying you need to understand. I'm just saying that's one of her ideas. Here's another one of her ideas. Anybody who believes in God is is weak. I mean... So what? So, I I think it's just important... I think it's I useful read, read for people to know. Tell me, tell me which of Ayn Rand's ideas, since you, you, you think that I'm selectively picking her ideas that reflect her, paint her in a bad light, uh, what of her ideas do you think paint her in a good light? What would you like people to know about Ayn Rand's ideas? Uh, free market capitalism. So, free market capitalism. Wait so a you, free market capitalism is an indispensable, indivisible part of individual liberty and freedom. So you agree with Ayn Rand that democracy is a bad form of government and well, that it should be replaced by free market capitalism? The free market capitalism is an economic system. Democracy is a political system. She did not differentiate between we, the we two in her not. writings. Well, if we're going to well, talk I'm about her saying. ideas, let's talk about her ideas, not your ideas or my ideas. Her, you know, any any objectivist will tell you, and I, you know, if I, I could play quotes from them all day long who've been on this program. Democracy is mob rule. Ayn Rand probably said that a thousand times. Democracy is mob rule. She is anti-democracy. Yeah, you, you understand? You understand that our form of government here is not a democracy. Well, she also didn't like democratic republics or constitutionally no, limited understand. democratic republics, which is what we have. You understand You understand that our current system of government is not a democracy. You do understand that, don't you? Do you understand that our current system of government is not a republic? It's a constitutional republic. It is a That's constitutionally limited, representative democratic republic. I'll break it out for you. And right. by the way, we're using it's James democratic. Madison's language. It's, a con- it's constitutionally limited because the Constitution limits the power of the government. It is a representative government because we don't directly make our laws. We don't have national referendum processes. We elect representatives. Right. But, it is democratic uh, because hear- we have elections where the majority, the person who gets the most votes, actually represents us. And it is a republic because it is a nation of laws with a Constitution. It is a constitutionally limited representative democratic republic. But that said... Ayn Rand didn't like that. She felt that that was a poor form of government, and it should be replaced, basically, in all regards, with the exception of the army and the police. It should be replaced by business. And, and I, you know, maybe you want a private corporation to own all the streets and to pay a toll every time you go through a, through a stoplight. Well, and, there, there you're, setting up, you're setting up a false dichotomy again. It, that, corporations own all the streets, or government does everything. No, I'm I'm, I'm using Ayn you're Rand's at, suggestion. Ayn Rand's you're, suggestion you're was that government should not be in the business of running public streets. So who's going to do it? Well, when we get if, if uh, we get become a free economic society, right. uh, I would guess turning streets over to private entities would be one of the last things we might talk about and do. But it should but be done because it's free. We are free, a long way from right? that. 
Uh, okay. Government is, is, uh, and so we're going to do away with our publicly owned streets. We're going to do away with our publicly owned schools. We're going to do away with our publicly owned libraries. We're going to do away with publicly owned parks. These are all positions that Ayn Rand took proudly. Proudly. Yep. We're going to do. We're going to do away with all of these things. We're going to do away with any any effort whatsoever at a publicly paid for medical system. Even though she herself took Medicare in her last years. Um, yeah, the, well, see, there's there's another ad hominem attack. Just because somebody might be a, a hypocrite, and I'm not saying she's a hypocrite there or not, but that she was a hypocrite. That she's a hypocrite. That her ideas are wrong. So Somebody being a hypocrite does not invalidate their ideas. That no. Try and make that point. You're, you're absolutely right. Policy. You're absolutely right. I'm. You know, all of us are hypocrites in some areas. It doesn't mean that our ideas are stupid. But uh, I find That's it right. interesting That's that right. at what point That's in time, at what at what point something. at one point in her life she was absolutely <laughs> opposed to the government paying anybody's medical bills and said that those people who allowed the government to pay their medical bills were not worthy of our love and were looters. And then she herself asked the government, she signed up for Medicare. You have to sign up for it. She herself asked the government to pay her medical bills. Now that goes beyond hypocrisy in my mind. That, to me, is a repudiation of your own position. Is it not? But that doesn't make, that doesn't invalidate her ideas. She may, you may think she is, that's repudiating them. It does not invalidate her ideas. Okay. Well, George, you just hang on to that. I, 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 I honor your tenacity and your belief. Uh, hang on just a second. You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Call 866-987-THOM. George, can you tell me one country in the history of the world where Ayn Rand's ideas have worked? Um, can you name me one country in the world where they've been tried? 